Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Beautiful day today, the sun is shining. It's a little bit below zero. Well, I got some stovepipe, I got some insulation. I'm gonna get some stuff done here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm grabbing some more uh, tools and stuff and uh, we get set up and come back at you when I'm prepared. Well, I think I got all my stuff together. In my last video, I installed this window and I never got a chance to show it to you guys. I haven't cleaned it or anything. <laughs> I bought window cleaner and I forgot to bring it, of course. But there's the window. I think it looks all right. The wall's pretty full. I plan to put Probably three up there on the second floor. It's gonna be have to be below that double pot top plate, like I uh, I said in another video. Uh, anyway, that double top plate is important, in my opinion. It's important, so that's why I didn't change it. The double top plate is right at the height of the shorter wall, so. point up there this wall here the shorter wall that wall is all the way to the top of the bottom of the rafters and pretty much right where that tape is is where that double top plate is well you can see that is the even height between the top of this wall and where level would tie into that wall so that double top plate on the corner here and here I put metal strapping um, because I didn't overlap the top plates with the bottom one on the uh, you know with the one wall underneath and the top wall over top so it locks them together I, I didn't do that I couldn't do that or I don't remember but anyway so I put a metal piece of uh, flat strong tie uh, and some 10D nails and I tied those, that, the front wall into the side walls to help it so that it can't go out or in to hold it. So I feel that that wall is important or that top plate, but it sucks right where it falls right in my eye level. but. That's a temporary wall. The cabin is going out forwards, so I'll just have to deal with it. This wall, I'm not going to put anything. Uh, my chimney is going to come out roughly just to the left of the T and H of uh, Tyvek home wrap and go straight up through the uh, eave. 
I don't think I'm going to put any windows on the second floor on that wall. I'm going to put my kitchen window right here and then probably another window above it at the top of the stair landing to let air uh, be able to come in because the windows all open in the uh, <coughs> summertime and then just to give us some natural light although I was noticing and you guys probably noticed too in the shade here with all these cedar trees all these cedar trees create a lot of shade on the cabin so that should help keep it cooler in the summertime but in the winter that uh, doesn't bode so well for solar panels I was gonna put a rack of solar panels on the wall probably up there above the windows I don't think I'll be able to well not without taking these trees down maybe I'll have to put my solar panels on the roof of my shed and then run a wire up here but that's that's probably 200 feet sorry the sun is probably right in the camera there's my shed right down there so anyway thought I'd show you guys the window uh, so I'm gonna get started now I got all my stuff together I got uh, pretty happy I got some stovepipe so it was all on sale at PV which is the new country store name in Canada I don't know if it changed in the States too but so I got a wall support kit I got a couple pieces of uh, 12 inch super vent made by Selkirk it's all made by Selkirk uh, I went with double wall black pipe so that's a telescopic three foot piece I got a I believe this nope, down there I got a 12 inch tel or a 12 inch yeah that's my 90 I don't know where it is the other piece oh it's still in the truck I got a, I think it's a 12 inch piece of telescopic. I got a, four, a 45, well I've got it installed already. Just for measurements. So I've got a 45 out the back of my stove, since that's the way it exits. And then here's the telescopic piece, three foot. And then 90 is going to go to the wall thimble. So I had this set up last night. I took some measurements and it's, I, I was worried about the stove being overbearing in the in the building space because there's not much room I plan to put it on the floor right there and then go out through this wall space that gives me more than enough distance to the window and the wall I'll probably put a screen on the side a metal uh, guard just one of those stand-up ones just to not have so much direct heat right on the window and then uh, it comes out about 32 inches from the wall, I think, with everything. So it should be okay. But before I work on that, but that that's not a priority. I don't even know if I'm gonna, I'm getting long winded here. So when I bought this stove, I paid $200. I got the stove and I got six lengths of chimney pipe. And I thought, because it says on the back of the stove to use six inch pipe, I thought that that chimney pipe that I got with it would be six inch. Well, it's not, it's seven. So it was all pumped. I got all this stuff on sale. It was 20% off of everything. So I saved a little over a hundred dollars, maybe almost 200. And then I, the sale's over now, and I come to find out that the chimney pipe that I have is not the same size, so it can't adapt to it. So now I got to spend another thousand dollars on probably about 15 feet of chimney pipe. I got to measure that today too, but it is what it is. Uh, I've decided to just abandon that pipe. Maybe I'll try to sell it on Facebook or Kijiji. 
I'd rather do it with new right stuff and then I don't have to worry about there being any problems with that other stuff. So I got a bat, uh, bag of uh, two by six wall installation too. And this I'm gonna put up there because I'm pretty certain that the wind is going to blow the snow in there. I don't see any in here yet, but I'm pretty certain that the snow is going to be able to come in there. I'm not as worried about this side. There might get a little bit of wafting and coming up in. Who knows? Maybe I have enough to plug that too. Hopefully I have enough in that bag to be able to do all the way up there. And then I'll look and see what I have. If I have enough to do there and put insulation behind my uh, rocks, my, uh, cement board for behind the stove then I'll do that but we'll see what time it is too I don't know maybe I won't get to that I'll go ahead and get the rest of these done as I fill it in it's just gonna get darker in here so no lights yet well there it is all right close off the other side while there's still some light in here I just did that same method of putting four nails on the outside and then I put Two nails into the bottom and then two nails into the sides of the top on the front on the inside so hopefully it's good we'll do the other side and call that done so I'll do this side now and call it done I only needed to use 12 inches per piece so I'll have lots left over for behind the stove and then maybe even some to tuck around some windows or something so it should be good. My plan this winter is to insulate, but that'll be slowly. And I really hate using my trailer in the winter time. It's so hard on it. So much humidity inside. But anyway, got a job to do. Better get her done. So there we go. 
dark as heck in here now, but we're all closed in on both sides. So that'll be good. Now the snow can't blow in here at all. Well, friends, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in again next week, and I'll start the installation of the Through the Wall Kit Chimney. I hope everybody has a great week, and we'll see you guys all soon. Cheers, and be safe.